Hello everyone and welcome to our Northwestern Civitas Music Cafe. My name is Borna Bunaktapur. I'm a behavioral neurologist working at the Mesolum Center for Cognitive Neurology and Alzheimer Disease. Um, as many of you may know uh, throughout uh, my career, I, uh, I have been trying to bring the healing power of music uh, to uh, the individuals I see in my clinic. Civitas Ensemble and the Mizalem Center are both on board with this mission. Civitas Ensemble is a world-class ensemble that we have the honor to work with. Uh, it was founded in 2011 by the members of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra led by Yuan Xing Yu, who is uh, uh, co-hosting today. Um, Civitas has threefold mission to present engaging live performances uh, of new and traditional music, inspire young generation of classical musicians and bring the healing power of music to those with limited access to live performances. The difference between today's concert and regular concert is that pieces are selected based on what you, our special audience, uh, would appreciate the most. Uh, performances you'll hear today have been chosen in consultation with our music therapy consultant, Alyssa Ott, to make sure that they're clinically uh, fitting our listeners. We plan to have um, our first collaborative concert in March. However, due to the situations dictated by the coronavirus pandemic, we had to postpone uh, the performance. We're very excited uh, that we uh, bring the concert to you today virtually, and we hope that you enjoy it. Our first performance is an excerpt uh, from Mozart Piano Concerto Number no. 20. I had the honor to perform uh, the piano solo along with the Northwestern University Virtual Orchestra. Uh, Northwestern University Virtual Orchestra was formed during the pandemic uh, by Taichi Fukumura, who is the conductor for the Northwestern Medical Orchestra, Desiree Ruhestrat, uh, a violin professor at Northwestern and myself to bring orchestral music to individuals affected by the pandemic and also to honor essential workers and our staff at Northwestern University. I hope you uh, like our rendition of this beautiful piece and um, this piece was played while all of us were sheltering at home. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Yuan Qingyu, and I'm the assistant concert master of the Chicago Symphony and a founder violinist of the Civitas Ensemble. I am thrilled to be part of this meaningful collaboration to bring music to you today. As Borna said, we originally scheduled the concert back in March and unfortunately it was canceled. So it's really meaningful that we could do this in a virtual way. Using music as part of healing is at the core of Civitas Ensemble's mission. The next music selections you will hear, actually two of them. The first one would be first movement of Mozart's beloved duet for violin and viola in G major, played by my Chicago Symphony Orchestra colleagues, Shimon Michal and Wei Jing Wang. Right after that piece, we'll give you the concert a French flair with a duet for two violins by Baroque composer Jean-Marie Leclerc, who is regarded as the father of the French style of violin playing. That allegro movement will be performed by my colleague Blair Milton and myself.
Beautiful music indeed. Um, our next piece is from Franz Liszt, from his Hungarian Rhapsodies. Uh, in the middle of 19th century, Franz Liszt had the Europe under his spell for his dramatic piano performances. Uh, when in 1840, he went to Hungary, uh, he played Hungarian piano pieces at, at the end of his concert and was received with so much enthusiasm and a jewel encrusted sword of honor. He was much encouraged that uh, after that he wrote uh, many Hungarian and gypsy music in form of rhapsodies. And rhapsody is an improvisatory series of folk melodies performed with out outstanding and astonishing virtuosity. Number 12, which you're going to hear, uh, is among the very popular rhapsodies and is based on two melodies, a dark and grandiose chardash and a sparkling second melody together with many others written by Liszt himself. Winston Choi from Civitas Ensemble performs this rhapsody for us today. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. 
wow, what a great performance. It really makes me miss, it, miss playing with him and all my friends and colleagues um, in a live performance setting. Um, so hopefully we'll resume that soon. Uh, at meantime, we are trying to stay connected and make music using technology, as you would see in the next video. It's a movement from Mendelssohn's piano trio. Robert Schumann, famous composer and music critic, said this about Felix Mendelssohn's piano trio in D minor. Quote, this is the master trio of our time, even as Beethoven's in B flat and D and Schubert's in E flat were the masterpieces of their day. It is an exceedingly fine composition that years hence will still delight our grandchildren and great grandchildren. Civitas Ensemble members, Winston Choi, Ken Olson, and myself present you with this beautiful second movement of this piano trio.
Civitas Ensemble also puts a lot of emphasis on cross-cultural collaborations. Concluding today's program, I have two pieces from uh, Civitas Ensemble's International Connections Project that's called Ala Zingarese. Literally, it means in the style of gypsy. And that project celebrated the incredible musical heritage of the Roma people. In the video, you will see three gypsy musicians. They came from Slovak, Czech Republic, and also Hungary. And they played, uh, respectively, cymbalum, which is a traditional instrument, and double bass and viola. The musicians didn't speak English, but what we couldn't communicate with them through a common language, we did so through music. Please enjoy the exuberant sound of the next two pieces.
energizing pieces. And uh, what phenomenal performances. I hope you liked the music that we chose for you today.